Hey, Casket here. Hope everyone's enjoying their summer. Today, armadillo eggs. I've never done them before. We're gonna try them out. Here we go. As you've seen previously, the ingredients, basically jalapeno peppers, uh, cream cheese, grated cheddar, and a breakfast sausage. That's it, simple. Um, I cut the ends off the jalapeno peppers. I used a, a nut pick to reach in there and just go around in circles under some cold water and uh, it rinsed out the seeds and the core, worked perfectly. Once I mixed together the cream cheese and the grated cheddar, um, I basically made it a cheese ball. Uh, I just took chunks of that like Play-Doh and rolled it up and slid it right in the into the pepper itself and I used a baby spoon to kind of tuck it in. So next step, after I did all six of them, I got three already made up. Um, it's, it's pretty simple. So just take some breakfast sausage, make a hamburger patty out of it. And like I said, some people use hamburger. You can use seasoned hamburger. You can use hamburger with um, the uh, this onion soup mix uh, in, in it. It's just, it's endless what you can do. I make a, a patty out of it, roll the pepper in, make sure the ends are sealed, roll it together, armadillo egg. Let's do another one. I've found for these size peppers, which aren't really very large peppers, um, a pound, this is a pound of breakfast sausage, um, you'll get about three peppers uh, out of a pound. You cut it into thirds, it'll be just enough, it'll be just enough um, for three armadillo eggs. Last one. Okay. So we're going to put these on the smoker. I got the smoker about 250 degrees, about two hours. You want to make sure the sausage is at least 165 degrees uh, before you pull them out. You should see some cheese uh, start to ooze um, through the ends of them. Another indication that they're done, but very important to make sure that the sausage is 160 degrees at least. Okay, so we'll throw them on there and we'll see how it goes. Okay, we got the fire going. We got the pit up to 250 degrees. We're gonna throw these on here. Like I said, I'm looking about two hours or so. And we'll be back in a little while and we'll check them out. Uh, I'm going to try black eyed peas as a side dish because I got some chicken I'm going to throw on here later too. Uh, I want to give credit and a shout out to 44 Magnum Hunter X. This guy's really cool. He's entertaining. He did a black eyed pea uh, side in a cast iron skillet. I'm going to do the same thing, but you need to check out his video on that. And uh, he definitely has the credit for this recipe coming up next. But. Okay, it's been an hour for the armadillo eggs. Let's take a look and see what's happening in here. Coming along, I'm going to turn around and rotate them a little bit. Got the cheese, they're start, cheese is starting to ooze through here. It won't be much longer. I don't think two hours is needed, but I'm going to take a temperature check on the meat in about maybe 15 minutes or so. So that's where we are, one hour in.
Okay, it's been two hours. I'm gonna give it a little splash of beer. I checked the temperature with an electronic uh, probe and I'm getting about 165 to 170 in all of them. So in just a moment, I'm gonna pull them out. Okay, we're gonna pull these off and we're gonna let them set for about 15 minutes or so. I marinated this chicken in zesty Italian dressing overnight in a Ziploc bag. So we're just going to throw this on here. Fire gets a little hot on the bank dampers. A little beer. You never go wrong with a little beer on your chicken. Tell you what, check out this Mr. Stubbs. Sticky and sweet. I kind of fell in love with his barbecue sauce. And I've made my own, but I'll be honest with you, I really tend to lean towards this product. Check it out. All right, five more minutes. We're going to pull this chicken, and then we're going to do the side dish, which is the black eyed peas. Okay, let's check out these armadillo eggs. Alright, we're going to try this here. Okay. Wow. Oh, man. Jalapeno popper hopped up on steroids. You got to check this out. Simple recipe. That is very good. Real good. onion I don't have shiitake mushroom so I'm throwing in some just regular sliced mushrooms let that sweat down a little bit let's add the black eyed peas a little 
little sea salt. Always fresh ground pepper. That up a little bit. And last but not least, some spinach. that sweat down. Be back in a minute. Okay, the side dish is simmered for about uh, maybe five to ten minutes. And it's finished. Okay. This is like the quickest dinner I've ever made on a smoker, believe it or not. But check this out. Armadillo eggs. Man, I'll tell you what. You gotta check this out. This is very, very tasty. These are excellent. Black eyed peas, mushrooms, and spinach. Oh man. You get the flavor of the bacon, the smokiness. The black eyed peas are excellent. The spinach pops. The mushrooms are there. The onion, the excuse me, the onions, excellent, real good. It's an excellent dish. Thank you, uh, Forty Four Magnum Hunter X. This is great, and I'm I'm so glad I found this recipe on your site. Um, this is excellent, man. This is it's turned out great. Real happy with it.